following is an exclusive presentation of the Niagara Frontier Sports Network. Brought to you by Adelphia Cable Communications and Niagara Frontier Hockey. Sabres Hockey on the Niagara Frontier. Good evening. Welcome to Buffalo Sabres Hockey on the Niagara Frontier Sports Network. I'm John Girdler. Well, tonight the Quebec Nordique take on the Buffalo Sabres, and a win tonight for the Sabres could move them into an overall uh, second place in the league. And uh, meanwhile, Quebec is ending their worst season in history. With more on that, here's Mike Robitaille and Ted Darling. Thank you very much, John. Well, tonight's the end of the regular season, and... Uh, for the Sabres, well, with a Sabres victory and a Calgary loss, it could mean second place overall in the, in the National League for, uh, throughout the playoffs. So, and uh, for, uh, for tonight, Quebec, uh, I don't know, Mike could be another run Come for on. the Come season. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Spit it out. Yeah, you know, and I, and I look back, and one word comes to my mind. Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. You look back to that game on Tuesday, and it was really, a, you know, it was just a tremendous game by the Buffalo Sabres to win that one. And I think that's the boost into the playoffs that they need. Well, that game in Detroit was a big game, and of course they uh, they, they finished up the season on a on a strong note, winning uh, winning the last three. Uh, tonight tonight's a, a game where. I do you think they're going to rest some of the regulars tonight? You know, this is a big game for the Quebec Nordique. I think it's a big game because of there are players out there playing tonight for pride. There are players out there playing because it is it is a game for next year. These guys are playing for jobs next year. They can't run for the bus for another reason. They can't run for the bus because the buses aren't running, Ted. Well, that's right. And uh, so tonight's game uh, probably going to be a big matchup between uh, a team going someplace and another team going nowhere. Uh, anything else, Mike? Well, no, I just, you know, for Michel Bergeron, today is a big day simply because it's an hour shorter. It's an hour shorter than normal. Okay, well, back into you, John. Thank you, Ted. Danny Guerra and I will be right back after these messages on the Niagara Frontiers Sports Network. An outstanding selection. We're back in Buffalo at the Memorial Auditorium. Quebec Nordique ready to take on the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, John Gertler with Danny Gare just before the game. Danny, what do you think about tonight's game? Well, John, the Sabres will need to maintain a high degree of concentration for tonight's game. Just because of the fact that they clinched second place in the Adams division doesn't mean that because they have home ice advantage that they're going to have to take Quebec lightly. I was in the Buffalo dressing room and could see the look of a team that was loose and relaxed, and hopefully that is a good sign of confidence for tonight's game and for the playoffs. Quebec, on the other hand, has an attitude problem. That's a different story. Half their team is in the dressing room. They look like they wanted to impress the Nordiques' management on how well they can perform by trying to play solid hockey. On the other hand, it looks like the other half of the team wants to get an early tea time tomorrow in Florida for golf. It will be interesting to see which Nordiques team comes out to play. The 100% team for effort or the ones that won't break out into a sweat. Okay, Danny, you've been in this position before. Uh, the, 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 the season is winding down, last game of the season. Uh, playoffs are just in front of you. You don't know how long they're going to go. Uh, after playoffs are, are, are over, what do you do to keep in shape? Oh, I go out and do a few laps in the pool, play some golf, a little bit of tennis. Things like that, just to keep the arm going, keep the body moving. Any particular diet? Uh, nothing really, uh, just a standard diet. Okay, now to set the stage for tonight's matchup, we'll go upstairs to Mike Robitaille and Ted Darling. 
Okay, thank you very much, John and Danny. And uh, they're making some special. We're back in the studio with Ted Darling, Mike Robitaille, and Danny Gare to talk about the playoff picture. Ted, how about you? Well, you know, John, this is one of those interesting situations where the uh, three of the top four teams are in the uh, Adams division, and this could be a, one of those classic cases where the team that, uh, that escapes the Adams division uh, makes it, can't, they may be, be so beat up by the time they get out of, the, out of, the, out of their own division that, that even though they're one of the better teams, they may, uh, they may not have enough left to, to, win, uh, to win, go any farther in the series. So I guess I'm, I guess I'm sort of leaning toward, uh, toward the same team that won last year, Calgary. I thought the other night they, they played Buffalo, even though the, the Sabres came back and won the game. Uh, you know, Calgary looked really good, and uh, I, I think they're still the team to beat. Uh, Mike? Well, you know, Ted, uh, as much as it galls me to uh, have to agree with you, I, I really think that uh, the Calgary Flames uh, have what it takes, and, and I'll tell you why. The Calgary Flames know how to win hockey. They've had that taste of blood, and that's what you need in the National Hockey League. You need to taste blood of winning a Stanley Cup. They were a little bit slow at the beginning of the year, but they're coming on now. Watch out for the Calgary Flames. They're the team to beat. I mean, you know, if I go with my heart, if I go with my heart, guys, I would say the Buffalo Sabres. But you can't go with your heart. You've got to go with your heads. You've got to go with goaltending and the Calgary Flames. Danny, how about you? Well, I think the Buffalo Sabres remind me of a brand new European sports car, all tuned up, engine revving, ready to go. But the big question is this. Will there be enough gas in the tank to take them where they want to go? If they can make it out of the Adams Division and into the Wales Conference Finals, they have a good chance of making it. Both Jerry Meehan and Duds. They've done a great job of this team. The confidence level is there. I look for the Sabres to do pretty well this year. And also, I want to remind you, let's hope Bud Bailey will be able to add another chapter to his book. Never can tell what might happen, folks. Thank you, Daddy. Gentlemen, there you have it, the playoff picture from our broadcast team at the Niagara Frontier Sports Network. Our next uh, game will be the first game of the playoffs, the semifinals for the Adams Division, 7.30 here on the Niagara Frontier Sports Network Thursday. And uh, that about does it for the entire production staff of the Niagara Frontier Sports Network. Ted Darling, Mike Robitaille, Danny Gare. This is John Gertler. And for all the cable companies you see scrolling up your screen at the end of the show, good night from Buffalo. has been an exclusive presentation of the Niagara Frontier Sports Network, brought to you by Adelphia Cable Communications and Niagara Frontier Hockey.